Well, uh, it's funny, Rudy, because I've been thinking about it since we got home, and we there was all kinds of emotions in the first event. We we saw what we are capable of doing with the first round of 291 and leading, and then to fall to sixth after the second round, shooting 308. And then shooting 310 on Sunday morning um, to fall to ninth uh, actually was a little shocking. You know, the guys were in a great frame of mind. The course was in great shape. So uh, real surprised by that. Um, experienced all kinds of emotions, the highs and the lows of, of Division One golf. And our new guys learned that, which was good to see in the first event. But they also saw what we're capable of doing, shooting the 291 and leading. Uh, at a, really strong field up at Michigan State. So the future's bright. We just got to keep working hard, figure out from our mistakes what we need to do better next time. And they're all willing to do that. So I'm excited about it. It was all about us. Um, and I think the, the people that take onus of that and, and admit, hey, we made mistakes uh, are going to get better quicker. It wasn't the golf course, it wasn't the conditions, it was us. Um, 17 shots higher in round two. I know they got tired, but everybody else on the golf course got tired too. The one thing that at our sport is our kids are out there 10 and a half hours on a golf course nonstop. They get a box lunch on the move. So it's very tough mentally. And when we're as young as we are, um, we've got to learn to fight through that. It's one thing I stress to them that when they do get fatigued, the first thing that's going to go is, is their thinking process, and it showed, and it showed in our young guys, but uh, I can guarantee you we're going to learn from it and get better because uh, the 291 was very impressive. Yeah, from top to bottom, it was, it was really good. Yeah, Drew's our leader. There's no, there's no secret about that. Um, you know, I don't want to put any added pressure on Drew, but when Drew goes, we go. Um, and the kids look up to him. He's just got that it factor about him that, that uh, rubs off on the rest of them. You know, Patrick's round of 70 could have been better. Um, he made some bogeys coming down the stretch, but he's learning to finish what he started. And he's only a sophomore, so I was very pleased by that. Um, you know, the, the 291 that counted, our, our freshman, Jacob Groninger, who, who filled in the five spot for us, goes double-double on his last two holes. That 291 easily could have been a 287 right out of the box. So, um, of course, that would have made our second and third round look even worse. I'm kind of happy it, it didn't happen that way. But, yeah, we've got a lot of talent on this team, and um, they know that. And, I, and I'm stressing to them, when you guys realize just how good you are, um, the sky's the limit for us, so we're excited, but we've got to, we've got a lot of work to do too. Yes, uh, you know, I, I always go back to the fact that uh, I, I heard Coach Tom Izzo speak one time and I asked him about, you know, he brings in all these All-Americans from throughout the country to play on one basketball team, and he says he's always going to do that because competition breeds excellence. And it's not any different in our, our sport of golf. Uh, when they know every round they've got to bring it to travel to these great places we go to, it makes them better. It makes them grind. It makes them mature quicker than what they probably would. But, yeah, EJ uh, is going to be a fabulous uh, golfer here at IPFW over the next four years. His competition uh, maturity is beyond his years, uh, and that comes from his uh, bowling prowess of, of being one of the nation's top junior bowlers in the country. And uh, his competition, what he's learned through that and through golf and the junior tournaments he's playing in, is, is as good as it is on our team, whether it's from the freshmen to the seniors. EJ is a competition guy. He loves the heat and uh, loves the thrill of the battle. And uh, I'm hoping that that rubs off on even some of our older guys. He's been around, he's been around the track, so excited about that for him. Well, you know, Bruno, Bruno Carvalho um, is probably the best ball striker we have on the team, but he's also probably the worst putter we have on the team. You know, in, in round one, he hits 15 greens and shoots 72. Well, 
you hit 15 greens, that ought to be a 68, 69 at the worst. And uh, his stat line on fairways hit, greens hit, I just got done doing that before I came down here, was as good as it was on the team. And if you look at his scores, it's real simple. It's in the short game. And uh, we worked really hard and extensively last night on his putting, changed some things, and I think he's willing to change. And um, when he gets that putter going, you're going to see some great scores because ball striking, he's very, very good. Um, Curtis Coverstone, another junior, uh, shows flashes of being really good and then shows flashes of, of some inconsistency. Um, we're challenging Curtis in a couple areas, and, and I'm hoping he accepts that challenge. Uh, he's one of those kids that's going to have to compete really hard to travel, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping he's willing to take that step and do that. And then our two seniors, John McMillan, Jake Bailey, uh, have put in three fabulous years here, and uh, they've got to work hard. The talent level here is as good as they've ever seen, and we talked about that at the end of last year, and they know that. I look for both of them to step up to that challenge this year. First event, they didn't go, but you'll see them in the lineup. If not, I'll be surprised. And, um, but what can we say? Competition is great for all of our student athletes. Well, it's going to be a, it's going to be a pretty strong field. I know that, the, the, that their numbers are down, so there's only going to be a, probably seven teams there next week. But all seven teams are capable of shooting very well. So the competition is going to be even better than it has been in the past. And we've played that golf course well. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with qualifying uh, the next week and a half to see who represents us over there. Um, Drew Immel well, is definitely on the, on the squad through his exemption of, of being the low guy. But it's going to be really fun this week to see who qualifies for that. But um, it's a great golf course, and, and we have played it well in the past. And... Uh, I'm hoping for good things.